newspapers regarding Ukrainian and Russian tensions with other special journalists who joins us here in our studios, Melissa Noor Khimilet. Welcome, Melissa. Thank you, Nadia, and welcome, dear viewers. So in today's press preview, Nadia, Illusions of Diplomacy and the Ghosts of War in Ukraine is a title chosen by Al Quds Al Arabi uh, for its cover in this weekly edition. The newspaper saw, in contrast to the clarity that characterized the Russian military invasion of Ukraine, the geopolitical purposes um, uh, that can be integrated with it are not as clear, Nadia. So the goal of establishing the separatist entities of Donetsk and Lohansk or the prevention of Ukraine from joining NATO are not worth all the risks that Moscow will have to take. Uh, Sharq al awsat has entitled in its newspaper by the Kremlin escalated its rhetoric against the West in the face of the continuing path of isolating Russia and imposing firm sanctions against it in a move that the newspaper described as a point of no return in relations. The British Guardian asked in an opinion column why the West always loses to Putin and whether the Allies dare, dare, today, um, to, uh, dare today to overthrow the, pres the Russian president, I say, after they failed to prevent the invasion. The author of the article um, believes that in confrontations with Vladimir Putin, the West fights with one hand tied behind its back, and it does so, it does so by choice, out of shame, greed, and laziness. And... Uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, and, and laziness, so uh, it does so by choice, and uh, which has been the case for more than two decades, the author says, and it is also the case now in Ukraine. In the developments of the military operation on Ukraine on its fourth day, the British daily The Sun wrote that fierce battles are continuing on various fronts as the Russian military operation enters its fourth day. Uh, sirens sounded in the capital, Kiev, after it was exposed to a new wave of what it called the Russian bombing or the bomb blast. While world markets shiver in fear of a new economic downtown, we read in Le Monde that Europe is facing the specter of energy shock and it is currently avoiding sanctions on Russian hydrocarbons, which even if that means financing Vladimir Putin's war and or regime in order to limit collateral damage to its economy. Among other uh, newspapers that agreed on Le Monde point of view that the first outcome of what is happening in Ukraine is linked to a possible first time rise in energy, gas and electricity prices, the Algerian newspaper El Mujahid, which wrote that the European Union is highly dependent on Russia for its supply with natural gas. Le Figaro newspaper considered uh, the Russian control of Chernobyl is more symbolic than dangerous. Uh, however, it warned of the increase in radiation levels at the crippled uh, Chernobyl nuclear plant after the Russian forces took control of it on the first day of the operation in Ukraine, given the strategic importance of the site which is still emitting nuclear radiation since the worst nuclear accident in the world, which contributed to the collapse of the Soviet Union. Al Arabi Al Jadid the newspaper also focused on one of the risks that the crisis between the two countries poses to Europe and shed light on the situation of Ukrainian refugees, as footage showed Ukrainians rushing to the roads, fleeing by cars and trains, and a number of them arriving in neighboring Poland at the newspaper, um, warned of a renewed refugee crisis in Europe. It pointed out that the continent is on the cusp of a new crisis that needs solidarity and organization. A word in search of a new uh, system is the title of the editorial published by Al Arab uh, newspaper. Its writer says that Russia's entry into Ukraine it's, uh, is militarily turning a page in international relations under an American administration. Uh, that is content, uh, or that we see that the United States is content with uh, watching what is going on in the world. That's it for me today, uh, Nadia, and uh, back to you. Thank you so much, uh, Melissa. That